Hi, welcome to my channel Audio Video Me. In today's video, I'm gonna uh, explain you how to uh, place the studio monitors properly in your home recording studio uh, room. Uh, I'll illustrate this by uh, drawing few drawings on my tablet uh, as uh, it applies to different rooms and different scenarios, different applications. Uh, but I'll mention a formula to calculate the standing wave and uh, I'll demonstrate some other stuff that's involved acoustically. Uh, also, uh, I'll just mention few rules as well. Okay, let's start now. Okay, so let's suppose this is our room in our home recording studio. And uh, we start by calculating the length of the room. Let's say it comes to 10 foot. Let's say this is 25% of the room, this is 50% and this is 75%. Rule number one is we place the speakers in the direction of the length in order to minimize the frequency response interference in the room. We do not place it in the direction of the width of the room. Rule number two is the distance from wall to speakers or monitors should be at least 12 point or 12 inches. Okay, so we place our first monitor here and second one here. Rule number three is we place the listener somewhere between the 25 to 50% region recommended by Acoustics professional is 38%. Why I would explain that later. Rule number four is the distance between the speakers and the listeners or listener should be the same. Recommended by professionals is 67.5 inches, 67.5, 67.5. So in your scenario, it could be 30 inches, but make sure it's the same between you and the monitors and between the monitors. Okay, rule number five is avoid placing the monitors in the corner or beside the wall. If you place them beside the wall, it will result in peak signal in low frequencies and if you place them beside the corner of the wall that will result in phase issues okay by doing this if you follow all these instructions you would create a good sweet spot which is about here sweet spot or focal point focal point is where the sound from the tweeters converges okay what you can do is you can place a mirror on tweeters like right here on both tweeters per sitting if you can see your head or your face in both the mirrors then you have done the placement correctly the tweeters they should be head height of the listener okay now I said why we don't place the listener somewhere here in the 50% region or why we don't place somewhere here as 75% or somewhere here 25% I'll explain it to you so let's say this is the 25% this is 50% and this is 75% region let's create a sound wave okay if we place the listener in this region 50% then there would be one frequency that would be very extremely loud in this region 
so we avoid doing that if we place the listener in the region of 75 percent or 25 percent there would be a frequency that would be extremely low or that frequency will completely cancel itself here because every room suffers from reflection which reinforces at the 50 percent point and that eliminates or cancels or it becomes extremely low at 25 percent or 75 percent points what that frequency would be there is a formula to calculate that we know that speed of sound is 1130 feet per second okay our room length was 10 foot okay. in order to find that standing wave or the frequency we were talking about what we do is we divide 1130 by length of the room times 2 130 divided by which becomes to 56.5 hertz so 56.5 56.5 hertz would be extremely loud here in 50% region of the room and 56.5 hertz would be extremely low or it would cancel itself in 75% and 25% region okay guys uh, I hope I have uh, explained uh, in, in a simplest method about the placement of the studio monitors in your home recording studio if you guys have any questions then please ask me uh, I mean I, I would have done a better demonstration uh, but you know according to the resources available at this point uh, I just created this if you have liked the video please click on the like icon and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.